Hello, welcome to Coffee Dress Class. Please, if you are new to this class or new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this class. And for my subscribers and, do, and those who have been watching my videos, thank you very much for always coming to the class. Let's keep on drawing and keep the world moving. Without drawing, there will be nothing on this planet Earth. In today's lesson, we are going to draw, we are going to develop the surface of a truncated square prism giving the uh, the, uh, the diagonal and the height so we have here the system limiters to be the diagonal we have this side to be 70 millimeters and here 35 millimeters so we are going to develop the surface of this figure so we start by drawing our our plan start by drawing our plan so you first draw a, um, a straight line a faint line mm. please if you don't know how to draw a square given the diagonal you check on my channel I have a lesson there and uh, it will help you to understand this you first draw a line then you choose a point here then you measure system limiters and we have our system limiters you mark this point then you take your compass you open and you draw an arc like this here you draw another arc then with the same radius at this point you draw another arc and here you draw another arc then with your set square you join these points from the intersection here you draw a line and from here Draw another line, then from here, the intersection, you draw another line, then from here, the last, you draw another line. So we have um, our plan. So this is the plan of a truncated square prism so we are going to draw the front view or the front elevation with your t square and your c square your t square your c square because so the front is the the front view or the front elevation so we are going to see three points that is the one two three which is this point this point and these points you can see from here so with your t square and your c square extend these points up like this here as well it goes like this then here this good then you move this up here then you draw a line at this point then you extend it to this side here good then from the picture here the figure here it says the distance from here to this side is 70 millimeters. So you measure 70 millimeters from here to this side. 70 millimeters. The and the distance from here to this side is 35 millimeters. So you measure 35 millimeters, then you mark. Then your t square and your c square you mark 
here you draw a line sorry draw a line to this side then we have our this side is 70 you draw another line then you join this point and this point like this then with your t square and your c square and you draw this line from here it goes like this good then draw a line from here extend this i need to move my t square a little bit or my drawing board because of the camera needs like this yeah so now it's all right then I, you move your t-square to this side and you draw a faint line then from here you draw another faint line like this it goes like this already have one here good then you number here, you have here to be one, two, three, and four. So now, with your T square and your C square, draw one side like this. Then measure one side of the square of the square. Then mark four one two three Four. Then with your T square and set your C square, let's draw these lines. And go to this side. You number one, two, three, four, and one. And here is one. Let's move it like this. Just like this. Yes. Now with your sesquare to get the cover from from this point, draw a faint line. Now this goes like this. Then here as well, draw another faint line like this. Then you measure one side of the, of the square. Then at this point, you mark this. Now with your T square, you move it up like this then you draw your line and your C square Good. and 
certificate now we are going to finish the development of the surface so now you know this line is like one so you move around along this line here is one then you mark here you make a point we have another one here you make a point here then this line here is like two and four. Oh, we forgot to draw that line. We have line one and two now. We have this line here. Let's draw this line. We forgot it here. Let's draw it. Good. Here we have this. So this line is line one. So you have point one here, another point one here. Then we move along this line. This line is line two and four. So you move along this line. We have two here and four here. And this line is like three. So we move along this line. We have three here. That is it. So we have like one, and this line is like two and four, and here is like three. Good. So let's finish the development of the surface now. This is uh, a prism, so I'm going to draw a line from one to two. Goes like this, then to three, and here we have this. We have this, then two one by this. So, so when you fold this, when you fold this, you are going to get um, this truncated prism. It's very simple. First, draw your square. The diagonal is from this side to this and that is 60. After drawing this, you extend all these lines. It's almost the same as the one we did at the time, how to develop the surface of a truncated um, square prism. But this time, the diagonal was given. And this is what we got. This is the question. So we saw that there was a a lie here this this means one side so you can when uh, viewing from the uh, from the front view you're going to see three points that is here here and here so this is how we do after doing this then you extend these lines extend the lines to this side then you measure one side of the square you number one two three four one then from this like this like one then you mark one one and this is four and two so you, you have two here you have four here and this is three so when you fold this you get this figure thank you very much for coming to the class please let's keep on drawing and keep the world moving without drawing there will be nothing on this planet yet this is coffee Joyce class please share the video with your mates thank you very much i will see you in my next class. Bye.